We are in this together. As the days pass on by, we are wishing and waiting for that little slice of hope that will heal our country very soon. And with all this free time on my hands, I'm taking things nice and slow. I'm trying to enjoy every moment, taking my time, living in the moment, and I'm often doing extra things for my family and my friends. And I'm using this precious time to do a little something special every day just for me. You all may remember when I shared my curved desk with you last year. I love it just as much as the day I bought it. And you may also remember that the desk came with a matching chair. Well, I'm finally getting around to giving her a makeover. Before the happenings, I took a trip to Walmart fabric section and I came across this fabric and it speaks all things girly. My plan is to put it on the back or even the front. I was undecided at the time, so I started painting the chair with clear white chalk paint. I'm so sorry, you guys. I erased the footage by mistake, so I'm sharing a few still pictures of my process. I didn't take off the old fabric. I just covered it. I know that's not the professional way to do it, but it worked for me. The chair had upholstery tacks to hide the seam. I used this tack lifter to remove them. I cut my fabric to fit over the existing fabric and stapled it in. To cover my seam, I used this flexible metal tack strip that came with the tacks and I used this tack hammer to hammer it in. It's the perfect size for tacks and it made the process go by really smooth. The front of the chair was a little challenging getting the fabric on, so I decided to paint over it. Yes, fabric paint do exist. There's nothing like it, you guys. It soaks into the fabric at various levels of transparency, and as you can see, it does not bleed where you brush. They are back together again, living happily ever after, and I'm so pleased of how both pieces turned out. I didn't realize how much I've neglected my office. My shaving needed a good cleaning, my drapes needed washing, and I gave my supply storage a good clean, as well as my eternal roses. Can you believe it's been a year and they still look amazing? I'm only using a microfiber cloth to clean the acrylic to prevent scratches, but you can also use soapy water to clean it too. Earlier during the week, the hubster had on his honey-do list to beat my rug, and I love using vinegar and water to clean all the surfaces in my office. I just turn on some music and just go for it. I've added this new addition to protect my desktop. This is a multi-functional office desk pad that's made of leather. The other side is a different color. It is really nice to write on and it's perfect for my mouse. I cut it to fit the curved part of my desk. I also added this acrylic computer screen monitor memo board. It was only 11 bucks and this for your post-it sticky notes. You can put your messages here as a reminder. Just peel and stick it to the edge of your computer screen. This is Be My Guest with Denise Headquarters. I like to keep my desk clutter free. This set was a DIY that I did last year. The jars are from Target Dollar Spot and the flower top is actually a trinket tray that I epoxy to the lid. Here's a quick view of my command station. I am definitely an Apple girl for life. My phone holder, hard drives, mouse pad are right at my fingertips. And over in the corner, I keep a throw blanket for those chilly nights when I'm editing videos. I hope you all have enjoyed today's video. I am revealing our guest bedroom makeover on Saturday. If you are on my Instagram, you will get to see what my mean mug and hubster is up to this week. I hope this brings happiness into your home and I want to thank you all for watching.